Hey everyone and welcome to another TWM12 video on War Thunder. This one's a bit in the more unique side as it's the first time French tanks have actually been added to the game. Which, to be fair, they're actually pretty good, surprisingly. Well, at 2.3 they're pretty good. This B1 TR is outstandingly good, really. It's probably, after a couple of matches I had, it's actually probably my favourite 2.3. Its armor's excellent, its gun's excellent. Lacks the penetration, but once it penetrates, it does some serious damage. Overall, it's a pretty good tank. I can't really see too much wrong with it. It's got 70, 70, and 55 in the whole armor. 56 all around the turret. And it's on its 47 mil cannon top. 67 mil penetration, which isn't the best, but it's also got the heavy 75 in the, well, in the hull of it, which packs an additional punch, which is quite hurtful to, well, softer targets and, well, any other target, really, that you can't get up with, well, you can't get with your 47. Now, what's this armor like? It's pretty resilient. You just need to angle it slightly. Other than that there, it's really resilient against most shells. There is some that penetrate it, but everything is quite well spaced out in the tank, so shrapnel doesn't do as much damage as you would think it would. Now, going up against 3.0, 3 3.3, you're slightly on the disadvantage side because they'll just cut your armor open, but against its own tier, it's pretty overpowered actually. And it's a really fun tank to play, so hopefully it'll be out against its own tier. 57 on the 75 mil and 69 on the 47. The only difference really with the 75 mil is it's got a bigger explosive mass really, so it's it's pretty good that way. I'm actually hoping to try out the high explosive at some point on it, but quite recently this is probably one of the most popular tanks so far to see it. This tier as you can see there's like four of them already. Oh there's a crusader look. Oh shit, a crusader. Might be slightly fucked. <laughs> M24, Chinu. A lot of B1 and B1 B1 turrets and B1 bisses. Now it's not the fastest tank, but it's surprisingly fast for its tonnage like. I'm not sure the total tonnage of this tank, I think it was probably about 28 tons maybe. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't have a clue. I didn't actually read up on its tonnage that much, I'm just guessing. But I'd probably say it'd be about 30 tons probably, or maybe a bit heavier, or maybe a bit lighter, not too sure on that one. So if you know the exa exact tonnage, comment down below and let us know. <laughs> Or, well, I'll see it actually after the match here. Oh, fuck, that one's getting fast. Now, the armor's actually pretty decent. Even on the side, you can take some serious damage and still get away with it. It's pretty forgiving that way. So, it's one of the more forgiving tanks when you expose its side, but you still don't want to do as much. As, you know, with all tanks, when you expose the side, it's a major weakness for it. T28. Let's see. Let's begin. Let's see if I can push over here a bit. M22. Pretty little hit in the chaffy there. As you, as you can see here, this thing can take a beating. Double hit critical. Fuck that chaffy hit me hard. <laughs> ah, chaffy. Come on, get the extra crew member up. Need the extra crew. Ah. As you can see, I'm slowly holding it together, even getting hit from the side. Come on, come on, come on. 
as you can see here, it's quite de this tank can take one hell of a bloody beating and still shrug it off somehow. No idea how it's so how it's been able. Damn it, I died there to 105. M4A3 105. I'm surprised to see that at 2.3. But it hit me in the front there and it damaged me. So as you can see, the French tank can take one hell of a bloody beating and survive. It's quite forgiving that way. So sadly, I only have one that game. So as for some reason, it doesn't let you use three like it did with the Black Prince. But... It pretty much is a really overpowered tank for £15 and it's definitely one I would recommend. You can make so much from it. Like for me, from one life, I'm top of the game already. Like, what the, uh, like you can't ask for more than that there. Its armor is pretty good. It's pretty good in close combat. Long range is useless, but this tank is up in your face and deal some damage and take damage and just laugh at people bouncing, as you can see there. It took a lot to take me down. I have no idea how many hits I survived, but that was fucking nuts. <laughs> Anyways, it's definitely a tank I would recommend on this here. Its armor's outstanding. Its gun's okay. Oh, I got a battle trophy. Let's see. What did I get? What did I get? And I got order. Oh, backups, backups, backups. Backups. It's definitely a tank I recommend using. And enjoying. Got, let's see. Double strike. A dam. A dam Rank doesn't matter. Tank rescue. It was re that it really did do well. That tank is one thing I definitely enjoy. So it's tonnage. It's thirty six point six tons. Twenty point two top speed. Forty three degrees maximum inclination. It's very is a very visible tank. Obviously, reload rate nine point eight seconds. So it's reload rate's a bit in the slow side. Minus eighteen to plus eighteen on its vertical guidance. 8.2 seconds of turret rotation, which is pretty slow. Sadly, that's with all. Um, oh, that's with this part maxed out. I haven't maxed out the crew yet, which I'm working on, if, which will come up eventually. You'll have. Can, how many crew is it? Uh, you've got. 1, 2, 3. You've got 5 crew members, as you can see, all quite well sp stationed out, actually. 1, 2, driver, gunner, commander, machine gunner, and loader. Everything's all well put out. The only issue is at the rear. You've got an ammo, so you can get ammo. Your ammo can be hit at the rear of the tank. It's all up this side. Now, this is the most forgiving side, as there's very few ammo. There's just the radiators, radio station, transmission, a fuel tank. The right hand side's less, less forgiving, as it's got so much more ammunition sitting there. It's got more of the fuel tank, so you're more likely to get caught on fire if you're hitting this side. So, it's not very forgiving on that side. So. If you want to angle into something, expose this side a bit more than you would in this side. As you can see, there's far more ammo to hit. So, more likely you're going to die, essentially. Alright, so armor overall, as you can see, it's 75 or all around, really. Especially, if it's all really well angled. So, even turn it on slightly. You've got 89 at 31 degree slope. So, you've pretty much got a very thick frontal plate. Same in the turret, where... Very few shells at this tier will penetrate easily. So, my thoughts on the B B1 tower is it worth the fifteen pound? Yeah, it's definitely worth it. It really is good fun. It's definitely worth getting. This one tank I'll recommend to anyone who asks me for it. Ask me about it. Get this tank. You will enjoy it. It really is a must have for two point three. There is a lot of them in use, but it definitely is a must have at two point three. Anyways, this is quite a short one on this here, War, oh, War Thunder, usually my videos are quite a bit longer, but hope you enjoyed that, please like and subscribe, and hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching everyone.